Cover the point, Fred. Cover the point, Fred. Howdy, y'all. I'm Mac McGee from Cover Country here on Braves Country Radio. Now, if you like what you see, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We give you free MLB picks Monday through Saturday. And country club members, you see it first. Join the country club today, just nine cents a day. Let's get into it. Howdy, country club. Hope you've joined the country club uh the have you, have you became a member by now if not what are you waiting for sign up for the country club members as cover country we you will get the picks first and not have to wait until right before first pitch of the first game all right like we like we talked about on friday's show 68 percent win rate here so far in 2024 normally give you about four picks a day if you're new uh, we don't, we don't stretch out and just pick every single game. We're only going to give you the games we feel good about. So hence our winning percentage. So here we go. Let's dive into, uh, the days of the game. So we are doing four today. Thought about grabbing a fifth one, but I decided not to get greedy. We'll stick with four. Um, I will give you some thoughts on, on a couple other games, but these are the, are the four that we're actually going to go with. All right. The first one on the docket. You've got the Oakland A's at home against the Miami Marlins. It's Paul Blackburn versus Trevor Rogers. Give me the A's on the money line. Blackburn's been pretty darn good, and I think the A's can scratch across enough runs against Trevor Rogers and company to thwart their attacks and put the A's in the win column. A's playing much better than what everyone expected them to. Uh, actually, they're, they're a little reverse right now that the Marlins got a little hot at the beginning of the week. But right now, the A's are playing better baseball, but we're going with this because Blackburn is just the better pitcher right now. All right, the next one on the slate. You got the Reds at home against the Orioles, and we're not going with with the run line on this one either. We're going to take the Reds, the home team, the money line. It's Abbott versus Means. Means first start off the IL. Typically, when that happens... There's a little rust. There's also a little rest involved, meaning they're going to go out there and want to grab him and not let him go too deep in the game. He hasn't been all that uh, impressive on the minor league level coming up, getting ready on his rehab starts. That doesn't really concern me as much, but the simple fact of the matter is Abbott has been darn good. Don't let this one and three fool you. He's got a 3 2 7 ERA, and he has essentially been the ace of the Cincinnati Red staff who – they are fighting their way into contention there in the NL Central. All right, the next one that we're looking at, you got the White Sox traveling to the Cardinals. It's Fetty versus Lynn. You've got two really bad offenses. You've got two pitchers who, who have sub-3 ERAs. Give me under 4.5 in the first five innings, White Sox versus the Cardinals. And it's an earlier start. You normally... The bats don't wake up as, as uh, early on these earlier games. So give me the under on White Sox Cardinals first five. And then the last one for the day, Seattle is at Houston. That game is 7-15. You can actually catch that game on the mothership Fox. They are It is it is the national game of the week. So it'll be Logan Gilbert versus Framber Valdez. Two really good starting pitchers, and I'm taking the under. The under... You can get it as high as eight and a half. That's what we're going with. Uh, I've seen it some seven and a half. You can get nine and a half on some books, but it's usually a really bad line. It's usually like minus 220, something like that. So I'm going to go with uh, the just the the right down the middle, minus eight and a half, and give me the under on Logan Gilbert versus Framber Valdez. Seattle's offense hasn't been fantastic, but boy, has their pitch, pitching been. And I kind of expect the same out of the Astros, who, who have kind of clunked around to begin the season as well. I do think the Astros are going to get hot. A couple of the games I'm keeping an eye on. I'm not necessarily grabbing them and playing them, but I may. Uh, personally, I'm leaning on the over of Padres Diamondbacks. It's a, it's, a, it's a really weak pitching matchup of King versus Fott, and I think you'll see them get into the bullpen. Uh, a couple of other games of interest that I know people are, 
are thinking about. You've got Wynn versus Suarez. Uh, I would probably lean on the over in that game because I because first of all I think both both of those pitchers are bound to regress and another game that is very interesting to me would be the under in the Toronto Nationals game Galsman versus Jake Irvin Irvin has pitched pretty well and we know what Galsman's about and if you're thinking about that late night game Braves versus Dodgers it's Bryce Elder versus Tyler Glass now I would be leaning the Dodgers in the first five innings because I definitely think they have the the pitching uh, advantage in the starting pitching, and the Braves may pull it out, but it, but it would be once they got to the to the uh, the Dodger bullpen and flex that Braves bullpen muscle. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. We'll put the picks on the screen and uh, happy hunting here on a Saturday, and we'll see you on Monday. Cover the point, Fred. Cover the point, Fred. We give you free MLB picks. Monday through Saturday, Country Club members, you see it first. Join the Country Club today. We'll see you next time. Good luck and good betting to everybody.